Solve a system by multiplying and subtracting. We're still working on the elimination method. This is 8.4b. So I read this in the previous video. This is for those of you who missed that video. If you saw it, you could skip this part. In some linear systems, neither variable can be eliminated by adding or subtracting the equations directly. In systems like these, we need to multiply one of the equations by a constant so that adding or subtracting the equations will eliminate one variable. And just as adding or subtracting a number from each side of the equal sign produces the same sum or difference, it will produce the same product when multiplying. Adding the same value to each side of an equation will make the sum equal. Subtracting the same value from each side will make the difference equal. And multiplying the same value to each side will make the products equal. We can multiply each term or distribute the constant factor to each of them. If we have x plus y is equal to 5, we can distribute 4 to every term of the equation, even after the equal sign, to get 4x plus 4y is equal to 20. So here are the steps to multiply to eliminate with subtraction. We have our system of equations, and we decide which variable to eliminate. If we want to eliminate x, we can multiply the first equation by 3. If we want to eliminate y, we multiply the first equation by 2. If we multiply it by 3, we'll have a 3x over a 3x, and we can eliminate this because they'll be the same. We could use subtraction. And if we multiply it by 2, we'll have a 2y here, and they'll be the same, and we can eliminate them with subtraction. Then we multiply one equation by a constant so that adding or subtracting will eliminate that variable. We'll get 2x plus 2y is equal to 18. Now this is our system of equations. We can see we've got a plus 2y plus 2y. We solve the system by using the elimination method with addition or subtraction, whichever one fits. If we have opposite terms, remember we will add, but here we have the same term, so we will subtract. Plus 2y and plus 2y are the same, so we subtract the equations. That will eliminate this. If we have 2y minus 2y, it's gone. We've eliminated it. Here we have a 2x minus a 3x. Well, that'll put us into a negative 1x. And if we have 18 and take away 22, that'll put us into the negatives for a negative 4. Now we divide both sides of the equal sign by this coefficient, negative 1. And you may not see the 1 written there. If it's like this, we know there's an invisible 1 here. We divide both sides by this negative 1 coefficient, which gives us the same numerator and denominator, so we have 1x. And a negative divided by a negative makes a positive. So for negative 4 divided by negative 1, we have a positive 4. We substitute 4 for x in either original equation to solve for y. I chose the easy one with no coefficients. We have 4 plus y equals 9. We subtract 4 from each side of the equation. And we get a 0 pair here. And we have y is equal to 9 minus 4, which is 5. We know y is equal to 5, and our solution is 4 for x, 5 for y. We check our solution algebraically by using it in each original equation. We had x plus y equals 9. Now we have 4 plus 5 equals 9, and 9 is equal to 9, so that's true. And when we put 4 for x and 5 for y into this equation, we have 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 2 times 5, which is 10, and that's equal to 22, so that's true. To eliminate by subtraction, we need the same terms, such as a negative 3x and a negative 3x, or a 2y and a 2y. They're both positive. By wisely choosing a positive or negative constant, we can multiply one equation to create the same terms to subtract. Now, I wanted to show you this real quick. This is looking ahead in algebra. Sometimes we'll have a system of equations in which both equations will need to be multiplied by a constant to solve the system. Looking at this system of equations, we don't have any opposite terms and we don't have any same terms. In order to make them opposites so that we could solve with addition, we need to make this a negative and that a positive, 
or make this a negative and that a positive, but they need to be the same coefficient negative or positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this first equation by a negative 5, and I'm going to multiply this second equation by a 4. If we multiply negative 5 times 5x, we'll get negative 25x. When we multiply negative 5 by a positive 4y, we're going to get a negative 20y. And when we multiply negative 5 times 12, we get a negative 60. Now, for the second equation, we do 4. We have 4 times 3x is a 12x, and 4 times 5y is a positive 20y, and 4 times 15 is a positive 60. Now we can solve using addition because our system is having opposite terms of a minus 20y and a plus 20y. Look at that. Now, if you're really good, you can copy this and see if you can solve this equation for its x and y values. So just keep in mind, sometimes you might have to multiply both equations by a number that is a multiple of one of these. 20 is a multiple of 4 and 5. We could have done uh, a negative 3 here and a 5 here because 15 is a multiple of 5 and 3. We're finished with 8.4b. We're moving on to the last part. I'm going to talk about the elimination with real-world problems with systems of equations and multiplication. Hit that like button, subscribe, and please join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye!